<clears throat> now what's up everybody, um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create like a three dimensional intro or 3D text intro thing uh, in uh, Google SketchUp. So assuming you've already downloaded Google SketchUp, um, where the hell is Google SketchUp on my screen? Where is Google Sketch to the up? Oh there it is right here. Assuming you've already downloaded Google SketchUp, it's free, you can download it, just type in Google SketchUp, you can download it, it's free. Um, this is what you want to do. This is the thing that's going to start pop up, all right? And you want to choose a template, okay? And um, the the best thing to choose um, is architectural design feet and inches, okay? It's like the third one down. You see it. Not that hard. Just right there, feet and inches. And then you want to start using SketchUp. You click it. <clears throat> it'll start. It'll start up a uh, SketchUp. It'll start loading. Here we go. This is what you're going to see. You have your uh, X, Y, Z crap going on right here, right, for three-dimensional objects. And uh, you have your zoom in and out, so you can back away. The hand here moves it around, like, back and forth, back and forth, and up and down. Want to go, like, around in a circle, you have to, like, move around like this. And um, so to get down to it... Um, Make a three-dimensional thing. This right here, this little brown square, you click, it will automatically do like a square type thing. And uh, you need to make something like this or the pencil where you can draw your own shape. And uh, like, let's see. Oh, come on. Yeah, like you can draw your own shape. It doesn't have to be like perfect or anything. You can draw whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? And then you can... Uh, Come on. And then you're done. Okay. And like to make it three dimensional, you go in here and boom. Like, okay, this is weird, all right. Don't even look at this because I don't even know what shape I just made. But uh, don't worry about that. This one right here. It's better to use the square or the circle um, because it's just much easier shapes. You click this. This thing makes it um, three dimensional. So you pull out and now it's now there's a three-dimensional object here all right a three-dimensional object and uh, just like that is how you do that all right now let's put let's put some text on here so you want to go to uh, tools 3d text um, it might do a little lag thing where it, uh, the screen and it starts saying not responding just don't worry about it it, it take it does that every single time and uh, it'll work like that. So you just enter text. Let's type in sweet, sweet stuff one two three, and you click place, and uh, let's place it on right here. And like I think it's a little bit too big, um, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller here. Let me back out so I can see. All right, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go to this. Oh, see how it's already highlighted. So I'm going to go to, uh, not edit, uh, tools, scale. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I think that's good enough. And then I'm going to grab the move tool and uh, move it. Uh, that's okay. You know it's like that. And, um... To unselect it, you click somewhere else, and now that's it right there. Now, notice, it's not three-dimensional totally. It's it's really flat, because I like starting it off. You can start it off where it's like four inches high or whatever. But I like starting it off like this, this high. Actually, you know what? Let's try this, because this might be easier for you guys. Let's click this. Let's click this. No, this right here. No, not the S. Sweet stuff. And uh, let's do that right here. Let's try this here. Hold on. Let's try this again. Switch stuff one, two, three. And the height will make it. Ten, well, not one hundred ninety. Ten and ten. All right, and 
misplace it. <sighs> Forget that. I don't know what the hell I just did. What was I doing? Uh, anyway, I don't even know what the hell I just did. Anyway, forget it. Don't even worry about what I just did. Don't think about what I just did. Alright, because I just confused you guys even more. Anyways, um, the reason why I put it on a block um, to start off with is because it's more easier to... Uh, because like if you don't put it on a block, it'll be somewhere up over here, but it'll be in a place where it's hard to... Uh, it's just hard to move around and stuff because it's not on a surface. So you can start it off on a surface and then you can uh, click the surface and delete it and now you have the text. Now you want to select the text and then to uh, make it three dimensional, I'm sorry but this is the only way I know, you have to go um, each one and do it on its own. And what I do is after a while, after I do all of them, I sit here and uh, I just like go in after in a different angle and make them all straight or all the same uh, height or thickness or whatever. So uh, anyway, that's how you do that. And then like to make a video, let's say I want to do a video on it. Let's see, no, just sweet is uh, three dimensional. Anyway, now let's say I want to do a video. All right, I'm gonna click here since we're done with this. Actually, no, I think I'll color it so I can show you how to color it. And uh, you can either color the whole thing, but I suggest that you color each one. Um, actually, let's try and color the whole thing. And you can go to Window, Materials, okay. And uh, Windows, Materials, Matitty, 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 my titties. And let's say, let's go pink. There's all these different colors. Let's make it pink. All right, boom. But um, do not want to make it pink. You can click. You can like double click like I did before to make it big. And I uh, see how it's highlighted now. Just the S, and you can click it, and only the front of the S will be colored that color, whatever. And, or you can just click the whole S. Anyway, I'm not going to get too detailed into that. Now let's start the video. Um, you're going to want to go to View, down to Animation. You add scene. Right now it's adding a scene. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go like this. I stop. I go to view, animation, add scene, and then I go like this. I'll go stop, view, animation, add scene, and I'll go like this, stop, view, animation, add scene. And the least amount of scenes you can have to make a video is six. So even if I don't need to have it six, um, scenes and when I go to edit the video I just cut off the end and then um, view I don't know why I clicked edit view animation add scene and then uh, I'll stop and then now you can go to view or a file or not file view come on animation play and uh, it'll go back to the first scene Alright, so now it's back at the first scene and it's going to play it scene by scene. Scene 2. And then it'll go to scene 3. And it'll do that. And in the video editing thing, um, if you want to make it go smooth, you have to cut it. Like when it stops each scene and cut it. So, so um, it'll make it flow like really uh, smoothly. So uh, yeah, right here I'm getting a text from Brian. Right here, BR Phyllis. That's cool. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm, yes, I'm, I know. Anyways, this vid's for you, Brian. So, uh, that's how you do that right there. And then, once you're done, you can just, uh, you'll have it. You go to File, Export, and then you go to Export Animation, and then a little window will pop up. Bing, body, boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom. You save it, blah, blah, blah. Boom, 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 baby. That's how it's done. Uh, Brian, I hope that helped you. I hope that helped other people who are watching this too. Um, also, oh yeah, a little another thing. If you want to make like the background and stuff. Because the background is not very exciting. So I'll go to Tools. I'll go to Window. Um, I'll go to Styles. And a little, a little pop-up bar open. And uh, you can click like this. It'll be a blueprint like this. These are uh, default ones. 
and uh, this pencil tracing paper I don't know this one's called whatever and uh, like a snow whatever you know what I'm saying anyway you can pick like these and then like if I don't like them I just pick them and then edit off of them like right here so uh, yeah that's basically all so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it was easy to understand alright thanks peace out